Hey guys, Dan here, and I have a uh, random pack opening. I got a three booster, uh, just three booster packs of Invasion of Chaos. Um, I took the risk and went on eBay. Uh, the guy was selling three packs for ten bucks, and I was like, sure, I'll pay that much for three packs. Um, when I was a kid, across the street from my house, there used to be a uh, baseball card shop, and Yu-Gi-Oh card, Yu-Gi-Oh packs used to be three dollars a pack. And then as the game got more and more popular, it went up to $7 a pack. So I really don't mind paying $10 to three of these packs. <laughs> but uh, I never don't really have any attachment to this set because this was already when I was out of the game. Um, when I was a kid and I was playing, I dropped out um, whatever the set was during Battle City. That was when I dropped out because I stopped watching the show right after then. So I stopped buying the cards and I didn't come back to the game until... Um, Oh man, this thing's like impossible to open. Uh, I didn't come back to the game until um, uh, Galactic Overlord. So it was quite a while. So, yeah. Just, I had to use a knife to open up this pack. It was like impenetrable. This is uh, an upper deck pack. Um, zero gravity. Shot Man, the Desperate Outlaw. Yellow Luster Shield. Burning Algae, Mataza the Zapper, and No Hollow, Ryu Kakoi. Then I got a Gale Lizard, DD Borderline, and Spidal Collapse. Um, hopefully these packs aren't scaled. <laughs> I don't know. I was just trusting the guy. We actually said in the description of the auction, not scaled. So I was like, okay. And like, at least you're being honest and acknowledging that scaling is a thing. Ooh. Caught the camera there. Yeah, I'm trying out a new tripod. It's not super sturdy. It's one of those gorilla pods. Ooh, and we got a big koala. Thunder crash. Blazing Impachi. Another zero gravity. A uh, ooh, a super rare. Uh, DD Scalplane. <laughs> wow, that's actually really cool. Um, I used to play Monarchs, and I used to side. Uh, I think I used to side this card. Uh, this is a while ago. I used to play uh, Frog Monarchs. This card is removed from play. So some of this card, and the teacher like tap position your side of the field during the end phase of this turn. Yeah, I think I sided it because I would uh, <coughs> side out Frog Monarchs into. Uh, like a like DD monarch, so I'd have like a D like a a couple of uh, DD cards, and I'd uh, get them back to special summon. So good, we pulled a hollow from these packs, so we know they're not scaled. Chaos greed, Earth chant, and the thing of the center crater. Some pretty cool old cards. Let's hopefully maybe we can pull a Demon from this. Come on. These packs are like, they're like so, like the, the new packs now, these like come apart and these are like impossible. There we go, another shot, man. Yellow Luster Shield, Algae, Stumbling, and a Destruction Ring, so I guess we're not getting another holo. Ooh, a Chaos Sorcerer, that's pretty cool. Cool. So I'll just do a quick overview. I'm gonna keep Chaos Sorcerer in as a uh, a cool card. So we got a common Chaos Sorcerer, Destruction Ring, a super rare DD Scout Plane, and a Mataza the Zapper. So pretty cool pack opening. Uh, if you guys have any memories with this set, uh, please leave comments just down below. Tell me what you guys think of it. Um, it was a pretty cool set. Uh, I know Gima came in it. I think. The Chaos, Emperor, Dragon, and BLS came in this set. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not super attached to this set, but I was like, oh, old packs. Just bring back some nostalgia of opening up like Legend of Blue Eyes and Magic Ruler, Metal, Metal Raiders. I actually did buy some Magic Ruler uh, packs, so uh, hopefully I get those soon in the mail. And hopefully those aren't scaled. <laughs> so thank you guys, and I'll see you guys later.